Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our May 2017 tarot reading. And this reading will be for the sign of Sagittarius. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And for the beginning of the month, we'll take a card from the top. In the middle of the month, we'll take a card from the center. And for the end of the month, we're going to take a card from the bottom. Okay, so what do we have here with this lineup? Okay, we first start out May with the Nine of Wands. And he has all these wands here, and he's standing there at attention, and he has that serious look on his face. In the beginning of the month, what this Nine of Wands is signifying is that you're exhausted, okay? You're pretty tired of whatever it is, and you're ready to give up. However, you don't want to give up, okay? Most people are so close to their breakthrough, okay, right before they're about to give up, that if you give up, you'll never know, okay, what good could have come out of it. So this card is telling you to persevere, okay? Persevere through whatever it is that you feel exhausted, okay? You're feeling that all of your energy has been spent up to this point, but this card's telling you not to give up. Success is closer than you think okay this isn't the time to stop at this point whatever it is that you're dealing with you've come this far okay and now you have to gather yourself and and just give it that last final push because perseverance is what's going to get you the success that you need here so be courageous and determined and you're going to be triumphant whatever it is that you've been going through that's it, that's leading to this exhaustion so do not give up then in the middle of the month here we have the two of wands okay and again he has a very serious look on his face this man and when the two of wands shows up in the middle of the month okay it's telling you to focus on your future okay whatever plans you have maybe you're going to be collaborating with someone maybe you're going to be negotiating something with someone Okay, but this is when you start putting effort uh, forward to start some type of a project. Okay, this is when you get a project off the ground. So focus on your future plans and continue to put in the required amount of effort that you need in the middle of the month. So this shows that you're moving in the right direction. You're, you're moving in the direction of your goals and your ambition, and you're putting that effort into it. Okay. And then by the end of the month, how beautiful. We have the eight of wands. We have these eight wands crisscross. This beautiful rainbow. And it's such a colorful card. And it's just so peaceful. And this at the end of the month is a great card to get. Because the eight of wands is telling you that, you know, you're going to have some type of good news arrive. You're going to get some type of good news, whether it's going to be in the form of an email. Or if you're going to receive a, a letter in the mail. Or maybe a phone call. But this is a very fast-moving energy, so this message is going to come quickly at the end of the month. It's going to be a sudden burst of activity and excitement because it's going to be some type of good news. So it's definitely something positive, definitely something good. Um, it could also mean that maybe you're going on a trip. Maybe you're going to be taking a, a travel by a plane, okay, because the plane is the quickest mode of transportation. So it could possibly mean that maybe you're taking a, a vacation going somewhere uh, on a plane, or it could very well be some type of good news that you've been waiting for that you're finally going to be notified of at the end of the month. So what an exciting month. Hang in there. Stay strong. Things are going in a positive direction. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.